Okay, so what we got is we're doing the rubber back on the back of our Koima bumper. We're doing some slight assembly today. And uh, what I like to do is start by laying this on one side. Both sides are identical. You've got five of these rubber, big rubber pads on each side. I got all our bolts laying out here. We have the assembly instructions that I encourage you to look at prior to the video. Uh, what I like to do first is there's a lot of holes that you got to line up. So I like to uh, start with a carriage. There's five carriage that kind of hold the, the big rubber on, the big rubber piece on. And then there's five rubber bumpers on each side. <coughs> so I like to start with those first and I don't like to tighten anything until the end. What I like to use is a short three quarter. With our bolt kits there's a three inch half inch bolt that we want to start all four threads. The bumper has threaded holes tapped into it so all you got to do is start them In each one, kind of hard to get your fingers in there, so it's nice to have a little uh, extension like this. Okay, now that we've got everything started, we've got the bolts, the regular uh, nuts started on the back side of the carriages. Then I like to switch to the deep socket. A little bit easier to get inside everything. <clears throat> There's no torque setting when you uh, tighten a bolt on rubber. So you really have to kind of do this by eye. And you just have to compress it. See how it compresses? That's kind of your lock. So, go down until it compresses. So I like to do everything at this level first. And being as we're on a forklift, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit and do the carriage bolts last. That's just Now with this nut, I like, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but when you tighten it, I like to uh, put the carriage bolt inside this piece so that when you bump up against it on a truck, you're not bumping the carriage. And you have to t give it a little bit of a snug fit in order for it to do its locking mechanism. This will lift a little bit, but it'll be fine. This is pretty durable stuff. but make it flush. Um, if you do it with an impact, this carriage will not spin in there because these were rounded holes, but they were strategically cut at the right diameter so that if you do it quick with an impact, the carriage doesn't spin. Obviously, you don't want the carriage to spin or you won't get it tight. And don't over tighten it or it will spin. So in our, in our bolt package, there's these long 5 8 bolts. There's three of them on each side. I'm just going to stick one on this side over here for now, and we have to 
slightly tap on the unit over there. This is most of the time the desired height. Um, I always put one bolt way in the two outermost holes and then the other one's somewhere in the center. Don't forget the washer. Okay, so now we're going to install the complete rubber back. Um, being the fork hole pockets are not exposed because we want to keep the rubber in the entire back. You pre-install this just using the 5 ace bolts in the instruction manual and, and the bolts provided to your desired height. Most guys will run about this height right here. So there's a couple, couple holes exposed. Um, Pre-install this onto here, self-explanatory, with the instruction sheet included. Then I like to pick it up right in the center. It balances it very well. We'll install this right back on here like we showed you earlier, the same way, using the four bolts here and the four bolts here. Okay, we'll show that for you a minute. A little trickier, but after you get all these top ones hand tight, you can remove the lifting mechanism and then reach in between here and install your four bolts that you need to do on the bottom. So that is our videos of how to install our Coima bumper. Again, give us a call, we'll give you a quote and get one sent out to you right away.